Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the AccessToTrade.com nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody is doing well. So there hasn't been a lot for the Bulls to cheer from for over the last uh, couple of weeks. Uh, the last two days have been just a crazy, crazy move, right? If you've, been, if you've watched the video, there was no video last night. I had to take my daughter to practice. I'm still trying to get used to this new schedule. Um, but if you watch the video on Tuesday, right, we talked about we've been here before, right? We've the market's broken our hearts. We've been here before. We're going to give the market the benefit of the doubt, but let's hope for the best. And, you know, you saw uh, almost like a video game ish move for all you guys who uh, who are gamers or your kids are gamers, right? Like Madden. Everybody loves Madden. It's been a series for years and years. Me and my son playing for, for years and years and years. And the one thing in Madden, you, you can start putting up stats that are like video game-like. And you're like, oh God, this is just so not realistic. And after a while, you get frustrated with the game. The, the Dow Jones Industrial Average put up 1,500 points uh, in the previous two sessions, which is video game-esque. Considering how the market's been trading, considering how the same news flow has been circulating over uh, for the last year or so, it was very, very impressive. And going into today's session, we were like, well, you know, at Morning Strategy, we talked about, well, you know, we could probably see an inside day today. Uh, number one, there was a Jewish holiday today, uh, Yom Kippur, so a lot of our Jewish friends were off. Um, so you're probably going to see smaller volume. You're probably going to see stocks trade in range. But I talked about that if we would have an inside day today, right, and we wouldn't take out uh, the previous day's low, the bulls would actually have a leg to stand on. And next thing you know, right out the word go, okay? Everything, pretty much everything lost their previous day's low, right? The Qs lost their previous day's low, and you're like, here we go again, right? The only good part about the here we go again, it was a little car company slash technology company slash solar company that we, we've been watching for a couple of days off this 241 level that we were prepared for. That's kind of here nor there, right? But the most important part is it's like everything started imploding at the same time and the bulls did something really, really bullish today, right? If you weren't trading today uh, or just logged on late or whatever the case may be, they did one of the most bullish things you could possibly do. So when they took out the low of the day, they went all the way back to the five day moving average. If you are uh, an avid watcher of our nightly updates, you kind of know how important the five day moving average for me, it's pretty much the area where short term sentiment is controlled. So above the five day, the bulls, below the five day, the bears. So the fact that they took down yesterday's low and traded to the five day and held, that was pretty bullish, right? That was pretty bullish. It didn't become super duper bullish until we reclaimed yesterday's low. And oh, by the way, not only did we reclaim yesterday's low, we took out yesterday's highs. And if you look at, if you look at the market from, this, from, the, from the really aggressive wash at the open, and it was a really, really good wash, it was literally just straight up, literally straight up. And at one point, they, you know, they got green, right? I mean, they, they got green on the day and the queues were green on the day. And it just it's amazing, just absolutely amazing. Uh, they took out, it's very, very rare days. You see uh, an index, take out the lows, hold, take out the highs, and pretty much close in the middle of the channels here. Super duper uh, impressive by the bulls. And if you look at the final tally, there's nothing, right? And that's and then my mom used to say all the time, where she still does, uh, no news is good news. And when you look at the scoreboard today, after 1,500 points on the Dow, you had the Dow down 40 points, you had the S&P down seven, and you had the NASDAQ composite down 27 points, which is an incredible, just an absolutely incredible performance, uh, three-day performance uh, for the bulls. Uh, obviously, if you're a bear, we, you already know um, kind of the line in the SAM to the downside, which is going to be today's low of this 275 level. Very, very important in case this rally stalls out and starts turning down. But again, you know, by no stretch of the imagination are the bulls out of the woods, not even close, but 
uh, you, you're not going to see any more bullish action or more aggressive bullish action uh, that you've seen not only in the two days after coming uh, from the, since the worst month since March of 2020 for the S&P, you're not going to see more of an aggressive picture uh, on any three-day move uh, than we did uh, on the NASDAQ 100. And the same thing, you can make a case uh, with the S&P. S&P didn't quite lose its previous day's low, but it did take out the previous day's high, got rejected off the 20-day. And if you look at the IWM, right, IWM lost the previous day, got got held up by this linear regression line, and now it's a couple of days away. So here's kind of what the bears want. We know what the bears want. The bears want uh, below today's low. That's an obvious. We start taking down below today's low of 275.40s, then we're going down to recent lows. That's pretty pretty clear to see. You can see here, you know, stocks trade from demand to demand, right? However, if you are a bull, right, and that's a and it's a very very uh, scarce place to be these days. But if you are a bull, here's what a couple of things need to happen. We don't even necessarily have to go up tomorrow. Just don't go down, right? Just don't go down. Don't take out today's lows. That's a very very important part. The longer the bulls can probably go sideways, the the probability, right? The longer we can go sideways without taking down today's lows, the probability of sellers getting tired and tired increase okay and if the bulls start reclaiming on a close you know 285 roughly 285 on the queues again we're not out of the woods but again you could start seeing visually okay where you have rooms of grandeur right potential you have 87 and a half and any close over 87 and a half then you start filling in a gap all the way up to this 294 295 level and that's going to become obviously a good thing uh, if you are a bull. So the stage is set, right? The stage is set. What, what's most important part about today's channel was if you look at how a lot of the stocks closed, they took out the previous day's high or they're right there, right? Or they're right there from the days before. So look at the bull, bu I mean, look at the bullish formation on Apple, right? Took out yesterday's high, same thing, mirrored the Qs today, took out the, yesterday's high, got rejected off the 10 day. If Apple starts reclaiming today's high off the 10 day, there's another four or five points of upside. Look at Microsoft, right? Microsoft is now building above the 20 day moving average. And look at it, it stopped right at the same place. This thing starts building above this channel here. Hey, there's another, what, six, seven points. There's a lot of room up because we came down so much. Uh, look at a name, for example, let me give you guys a couple names also. Look at a name, for example, like, like Square, right? Square had a, a massive move yesterday, right? It's not gonna stand out on a lot of people's radar, but you had this massive move yesterday, inside day today, it was up like 13%. If it could reclaim the top of this channel here of yesterday's highs, who knows, there's another four or five points there as well. And let me give you guys one more name, ILMN, right? It's coming out, it had a really, really nasty summer, went sideways. If it could just take down this whole range here, who knows, maybe it could start uh, its next leg up. One name I do like on the short side, um, look at BJ Wholesalers right this is a you know it never rallied uh got rejected yesterday and it's sitting right on the 50-day moving average just in case the market starts to sour tomorrow uh let's definitely keep an eye on that one uh as well but there's a lot of names that look really really good look at names like for example like snow right snow looks really look at snow's chart this thing looks really really good it's very very close busting out this whole formation here uh that looks very good so the key for tomorrow uh, for the bulls, sometimes you have to kind of split hairs, uh, you know, when discussing and trying to analyze a day. The key for the bulls for tomorrow, don't give up the previous day's low, that is today, right? And if they can, start building above today's high, and that will be super duper bullish. Perfect scenario, obviously they wash out in the morning, trap some shorts on rising 60 minute support, confirm that rising 60 minute support, and off and running. We shall see, said the blind man. We shall see. Guys, I got to cut it a little bit short. My, son, my daughter has another practice. Guys, good night, everybody. God bless, and I will see you all tomorrow. Take care.